we're in Beijing, getting ready to leave to head to Datong, and it's snowing. I don't know if you can see it. I've been in Beijing for 10 months, it's the first time it snowed. So beautiful and cold and windy. Yeah. See my breath. Yeah. Inside the city walls, it's more residential than Xi'an, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah, you, you see beautiful things like this building behind us, and everything is lit up for the, the holidays. Yeah. Hopefully, when we go to the hanging uh, temple tomorrow, it won't be so cold. Yeah, my hand is freezing. Yes. <laughs> I can't move. Okay, so I'm here with my new travel buddies. We're all going on a day trip to the Datong Hanging Temples and the cave, the grotto, right? Everybody's going. So we have our friends from the Netherlands, buddy from Hong Kong, this guy we all know, myself. <laughs> Heading up there. Kind of windy, a little bit cold, really feeling it today. Alright, man, we're here in line. Yeah, Tim's much too cold to talk, he's dancing right now to keep his feet warm. But <laughs> we're alive ish. <laughs> it's very cold, but I've got three jackets on. <laughs> this is the line behind us, and unfortunately, there's some line in front of us. Okay, there's my plane down there. You see it? My drone. Here's the battery. Destroyed. I'm not a happy camper, but gotta buy a new drone. Yeah. So, what happened with the, the drone, huh? So, uh, it's really cold, and uh, when I launched it, uh, I was flying fine. I got a few seconds of footage, uh, which you'll see in this video. And then the GPS cut out, and normally the drone hovers and doesn't move. But for whatever reason, when the GPS cuts out, sometimes the drone starts flying or drifting. And it starts drifting toward us, as I, you know, aggressively move it back. But, um, then it keeps drifting, and then I'm I just not fighting it correctly until I eventually, uh, flew it into the wall, or drifted into the wall. I don't know which one actually happened, but either way, uh, the drone's gone. Give a good shot, Edward. Matt, how you doing? Doing good. You're like a monk. Yeah. <laughs> you thinking about joining the temple over there? <laughs> I don't know. I have to shave my head. <laughs> Let's go explore this cave. Oh, you guys having fun so far? Yeah, sure. <laughs> A lot of grottos here. <laughs> oh, they are. 
thought it was this big cave. I thought it was gonna be something in there. It's not. Taking photos, people being loud. Uh -huh, it's not me anymore having photos. Oh, I'll take it with me. Matt's lucky he's not taking any photos. That's the purpose of having your hair covered. <laughs> <laughs> we got a run, or they're gonna keep asking you guys for photos. Just that it's also in the toilet. So people are coming. Oh, I want to <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Mr. T needs to get a DNA test to see how much Chinese he is, because that picture looks just like him. <laughs> How did you like uh, the grottos in the, the museum? <laughs> I think it was nice. They're really carved pretty well. Actually. Yeah, the detail is amazing. The colors and uh, yeah, it was a good experience. We enjoyed it. <laughs> Fantastic. Very nice walk today. Um, yeah, it's worth coming out to, 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 to look at this place. The museum is uh, modern. It's, uh, yes. Yeah. It's, ni it's nice and warm in here as well, so it's good. Yes, yeah, so I really like the, the caves and the museum here. Uh, if I compare it to Lil Young, Lil Young has more Buddha uh, statues to see, but here they have some colored statues that are really interesting and definitely worth checking out. Some of the caves are a little bit bigger and you can walk inside, and that was really cool. The museum here is uh, free for a reason, and uh, but it's, it's worth checking out. Definitely to get warm, like Edward said. I thought I'd be inside more caves, to be quite honest, but it was interesting. Uh, the museum, I'm, unfortunately, they don't have any English, so I just can't understand really any of the uh, big placards they have everywhere, but it's warm. Okay, so Tan and Denise, it's the first time eating dumplings in China. Let's see it. Go for it. These are pork filled with water nuts. Don't, don't break the seal. Dip it in there. Dip it in there. Yeah. And Edward is showing him how to do it. Eat it, just soup inside. So make sure the soup is in. You gotta get all the soup. So don't, don't, don't pull it forward and then the soup inside. Alright, go for it. Yeah, don't, don't drop the food. <laughs> Let's something. see some reactions here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>